All right, folks, how are you doing? So I'm going to be analysing the scene from The Sopranos because this is clearly, very clearly, a scene of two narcissists talking to each other. Now, <laughs> what really confused me about Tony Soprano for a long time is that he displayed a lot of mid-range and lesser narcissistic behaviour. I've come to the conclusion, and I might be wrong about this, but I generally think that he is a lower mid-range narcissist because he does somewhat present a facade, you know, um, he does somewhat consider his actions and his behaviours to a degree, but he's still a pretty barbaric individual. Um, he's definitely not an upper lesser type A because he lacks the affability to be one. As for an upper lesser type B, well... People are usually repulsed by their presence and want to get the hell away from them. That's not always the case with Tony Soprano. Um, so to me, he's kind of stuck somewhere between mid-range and lesser, which makes him lower mid-range, if I were to guess. But again, it is only really a guess. I don't know for sure. I mean, coming out of a strip bar absolutely loaded in the middle of the day is definitely somebody who's on the lower end of the narcissist scale would do. Empaths and normal certainly wouldn't do that for the most part. <laughs> Maybe some exceptions, but they wouldn't, you know, get in a car and drive home, I don't think. You know, um, don't get me wrong, we've all made mistakes in life, but that sense of entitlement to come out of a strip bar in the middle of the afternoon absolutely loaded and drive home, I don't think most empaths and normals would do that, to be perfectly honest with you. A narcissist? Yes, yeah, somebody who's on the lower end probably would. I mean, just look at how drunk he is here. <laughs> He's in incredibly pissed. <laughs> said we can't be friends but there's no one else I can talk to. Now Tracy here is also a narcissist. Um, how do I know? Well just follow the follow the dialogue that gives it away pretty much. Now this is also what makes me think that Tony is lower mid-range because mid-range narcissists can to some extent fake sympathy and empathy Lesser narcissists absolutely cannot. They're blunt instruments. And don't get me wrong, Tony is a blunt instrument, absolutely. But he is somewhat faking empathy here by stopping for a second and listening. I don't think a lesser narcissist would do that unless I've missed something. I don't know. But, you know, you don't really get lesser narcissists who stop and listen to other people's problems. They don't give a shit. You know, they're far too primitive for that. Pregnant. It's Congratulations. And just that reaction there makes me think mid-range. Lower mid-range, but mid-range. You know, of presenting the facade of empathy. But Tony Soprano is utterly incapable of em empathy. Look, there'd be no mistake about that. Because he's a narcissist and no narcissist alive or dead was ever empathic. But it's a sort of mocking empathy. It's sarcastic empathy. It's insincere. And mid-rangers drip with insincerity and hypocrisy. And those are definitely two words that can apply to Tony Soprano. If you follow, you know, the series. Okay, so what do you want? That kind of thing. I don't know what to do. He acts like he doesn't give a shit. Do you ever think he's not acting? And, you know, kind of like a lesser. He's dropping harsh truths without a second thought. But like a mid-range... There's the facade of empathy, sort of, even though it's laced with sarcasm. What should I do? Should I keep it? I don't get involved in the affairs of the heart. But if I have it? Affairs of the heart. I don't think the heart had much to do with it. I think, you know, the organs were a bit lower down on the human anatomy, shall we say. Do you think they'll help me support it? Oh, sure. It'll be fun and those best over there. Now, this is also what makes me think mid-range, because mid-rangers are very sarcastic and, you know, mocking and all the rest of it. Upper-lessers can be somewhat, but I don't think to this extent. I don't think so. 
you know. Uh, you've seen plenty of examples of videos I've put up already of upper lesser A's and B's, you know. They're completely blunt. And even though Tony is blunt, definitely, you know, it's not quite to the same extent as an Alex Jones getting right in your face and finger pointing and all this sort of thing. And, you know, going on big rants and all this. There's a lot of passive aggressiveness to Tony's behavior, even in this scene. Now, Tracy, if you want to know what type of narcissist I think she is, I think middle lesser. And I'll explain why in a few moments. Would you want my advice? You already got one kid. Problems with that, burning them with cigarettes. What? Now, that is what makes me think that Tracy is a little, uh, middle lesser narcissist. That line of dialogue. And that's easy to overlook. Very easy. But pay attention. Whatever the fuck you were I doing. I got help for that. I had a lot of repressed anger. The county social worker says it all goes back to my mom. No. Why do I say lesser narcissist? Middle lesser. Because narcissism is created by two things. Genetic predisposition and lack of controlled environment. And both of these are very present in the dialogue here. Obviously, her mother was a narcissist and has been passed on genetically to Tracy. And um, if she was abused in her childhood, that's obviously a lack of controlled environment. And that is what creates a narcissist. She is obviously um, replaying the very same scenario with her own child based upon this conversation here. So she was burned as a child and so she's burning her child as a result. So it's like narcissism is repeating itself. It's like a perpetual cycle of malignant behavior. So later on when um, Tony kills uh, Ralphie, spoilers, I think everyone at this point has seen the series by now anyway, so I don't think I'm giving away anything that most people don't already know, but you know, there is the theory that, you know, Tony was talking about this girl here, Tracy, and described her as beautiful and sweet and then it's, no, she was none of those things. She's not particularly beautiful. She's not sweet because nobody who's sweet or innocent puts cigarettes out on their children. Let's, you know, not overlook that point. You know, <laughs> are you paying attention to the dialogue? Does that mean that Tracy was necessarily a quote-unquote evil person? No, but it does make her a narcissist. You know, um... <laughs> does it warrant a death sentence again spoilers no um, Ralphie who's also a narcissist kills Tracy um, that's a different subject for another time but you know pay attention to the dialogue nobody who's an empath or a normal or perhaps even narcissistic come to that puts out cigarettes on their child you're clearly dealing with a narcissist and that's why I say middle lesser narcissist, because lower lesser narcissist is just an out, outright thug, bully, totally useless for anything, dresses like a tramp, you know, layabouts living off the state, basically, career criminals, you know, low level. Middle lesser is somewhat sulky and moody, and you see a lot of these behaviours, if you follow more of the scenes with um, Tracy in them, you see a lot of the sulkiness and the moodiness very blunt attempts to gain control over situations. So definitely not upper lesser because definitely not upper lesser A because there's not really a whole lot about it that's affable or friendly or anything like that. The promiscuity is definitely there. We've, you see that if you watch the show. Upper lesser B, no, because she doesn't have the menacing, belligerent, bullying, bulldog personality of an upper lesser type B. There's no facade like you would have with a mid-range narcissist. Absolutely not a greater because, you know, greater narcissists or ultras are not this direct. And they have a long-term strategy and a long-term plan and are extremely effective. So that only leads one thing. She's a lesser narcissist. And I see middle lesser. And holding my hand on the stove. Whatever, okay? Your age, your situation. You need another kid like you need a fucking hole in the head. Now, this is also why I say that Tony is lower mid-range. Because if he was simply a lesser narcissist, he just would have ignored her and left, I think. Um, mid-range can fake empathy. And a lot of the time, mid-rangers delude themselves into thinking that they are empathic. But they're not. It's just part of the facade, but it operates at a subconscious level. So, 
Tony probably really believes that, and well, I know for a fact he believes that he is a good guy down and deep down. He's not, by the way. <laughs> he believes he's empathic. Um, he believes he cares about other people. He doesn't. His narcissism is telling him that, and you can see it in a lot of scenes with Melfi. This comes out where he genuinely believes that he empathizes with his son or his daughter or with other people, but he doesn't. He's incapable of empathy because he's a narcissist. But the narcissism will rewrite things in his subconscious. Because remember, mid-range narcissism operates at that level on the subconscious. To make him think he's empathic. But listen to what he's saying and how he's saying it. He clearly doesn't care. But his, his narcissism makes him think he's empathic. But he's not. So this is a good study. You know, The Sopranos is a very, very good study in how particular schools of narcissism operate. Which is why I decided to make this video. Your age, your situation, you need another kid like you need a fucking hole in the head. Now, somebody who's empathic is not going to go up to you and say, you need a, another kid like you need a hole in the head. That is not something that an actual empath would ever say to anybody, obviously. I don't think I really need to elaborate on that. But, you know, it's a good study of how narcissism works. You're young. You should look at your figure. You're making money. So you think I should get an abortion? And again, you know, lesser narcissists are very primitive creatures, which is another reason why I think that Tracy is a lesser narcissist. Obviously not very bright. I don't think I need to really <laughs> expand on that point. Um, you know, they're instinctive at their behaviours, you know, minute to minute, moment to moment. And they lurch from disaster to disaster. Lesser narcissists, their lives are a fucking train wreck. And that's obviously the case with Tracy here. Believe me, but Ralphie is the father, you'll be doing this kid the next two generations a favor. And again, that kind of false empathy slash sarcasm, sardonic sense of humor, which is obviously very present in, you know, mid-range narcissists, they tend to have that type of humor. Although I hesitate, I hesitate to call it humor. There's not very much that's very funny about it, but, you know, um, the narcissism blinds them to the fact that they're assholes, quite frankly. Um, but you see a lot of passive aggressiveness of, you know, the mid-range with Tony and a lot of the bluntness of a lesser. And this conversation was not very helpful at all. <laughs> but there you go, there's a narco narc conversation analysed for you. Thanks for watching.